Did you know that the Concorde couldn't fly over land? The Concorde was enormously inefficient at slower speeds than supersonic. It would burn nearly half its fuel load just getting up to speed, but once it passed transonic, it could cruise for much further distances. When arriving into New York, air traffic controllers would frequently let it jump the queue as they know its fuel consumption at lower speeds could leave it in a bad situation. While flying at supersonic speeds, the shockwaves it produced were extremely loud and during testing would even break windows in towns below. So instead, the Concorde had to fly special routes that would minimize its time over land. When leaving London, it would route over Bristol Channel. The sooner it got over water, the sooner it could accelerate to supersonic and the less fuel it would burn. Upon arrival to the US, it had to stay 50 miles off shore on its own dedicated approach. This weekend, I'm racing Santa Claus around the planet in the Concorde, so join me right here for this marathon stream.